In this video, we're going to talk about the maintenance required for the equipment that we sell. Now, I talked about uh, maintaining electronic smoke eaters in the technology video that we did earlier. But when it really comes to maintaining our equipment, it's very straightforward. Like I said, we've got a three filter system. You've got 12 pre-filters that come with the machine, six carbon, and one HEPA. Okay, it's pretty simple. Pre-filters, you climb the ladder and you do that once per month. Once every two months, and then annual. You're essentially talking about a five minute filter change per machine, and that includes grabbing the step ladder over and pulling it over. Uh, it's super easy to do. Typically on the machines, the pre-filter and carbon are on the intake side, and some people don't even realize it, but on the exhaust side of the machine, we've got the big HEPA filter, and that's a big 11 and a half inch deep uh, aluminum enclosed, like it's a pleated paper filter. This is the one that captures the ultra-fine smoke particles, the carbon absorbs gases, fumes, and odors, and the pre-filter really takes the brunt of the smoke to give extra life to the carbon and HEPA filters. Um, as far as what to do, you know, you're doing this monthly, you're doing this every six months. When you run out of these two filters and you have no more, it's time to order another annual kit. Okay? And that will include a brand new HEPA 6 carbon and 12 pre-filters. At that point, you're putting a brand new HEPA filter in. So starting the beginning of year two, you're going to have like new performance once again. Every year, again, this thing's going to work as if it was brand new. Um, the annual filter kits are $297 for the full set of filters. So about $300 a machine per year, which ends up being about $25 a month, uh, which is fairly inexpensive, less than a dollar a day per machine for filters. Uh, it's a really inexpensive way of dealing with this and when you factor this in compared to the electronic smoke eaters, the time consuming mess, um, bad performance and everything else, you'll really see that uh, when you factor it all in, the filter based systems are the way to go. The other maintenance that you need to do is if you did buy a UV light based system, um, you're going to be replacing the UV light either every year or every two years, depending on the brand that we recommend for you. Um, one of the brands is an annual change at about 43, 44 bucks per lamp. Uh, the other units are more expensive, but it's every two years. I think you're looking at about $190 every two years. Uh, it's a better, more advanced technology, but in either case, you're looking at filter changes, which are simple, easy, and fast to replace, and you're guaranteed long uh, performance at the same level it was when the machine was brand new. And the UV lights, you're essentially talking about swapping out a light bulb every year or every two years. So it's pretty straightforward, not rocket science, but it just works. So hope that makes sense. Thanks.